Jake always knows that how um, my questions will determine how much I enjoy the movie. Very true. Right? He, we've, he's we informed me about this. Yeah. Um, you do not have to worry. This is a fucking good movie. Okay. Sorry for my cursing. I apologize. No, that's actually another telltale sign. Yeah. Um, listen, that's good. Cursing by you is actually an affirmative. So See what I mean? There you go. Listen, I got tons of questions, and they're all over the place, so let's get started. Okay. For all three of you, if someone has actually never seen anything you've done before, what is the first thing you want them watching and why? Uh, a movie called um, All Day and a Night, because that's the closest that I, to me, that I've ever seen myself on, on on film. And I'm only in it for, you know, I maybe have three or four scenes in it, but I think it's kind of nice. I play a lot of characters, but that's probably the closest that I've seen myself on film, closest to me that I've seen myself. Um, I would say uh, I care a lot. I really like I care a lot, and I think it's the first movie that I was given the opportunity to play more of a grounded, realistic character and not sort of think that Baby Driver opened a door for me and, and sort of characters that were big and very, um, yeah, character pieces. And this is more of a grounded performance and it's a bit of a love story. So it feels more of in the line that I like to do, the things that I like to do. Bubble Boy. Yes, 100%. Absolutely, I think. Yes. It's a good introduction. I, I would agree. I agree, too. It was my introduction. It's mine, too. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, boy. Well, there we go. They, they <laughs> still I, wanted to work with me, so there you go. Here we are. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I, I, yeah. There you go. Uh, for all three of you, what is the most you've actually prepared for any role that you've done? Preparation is so different from job to job. Sometimes it's physics. Sometimes there's so much effort going into, like, a physical like changing my body physically mm -hmm. other times it's been the effort that it takes to learn a new language uh to be able to speak a new language it really all depends yeah you want an answer i mean i would like one but yeah. i don't have to get one yeah i think i think that's what my answer is going to be yeah i agree i think that um I prepared a lot for Baby Driver because I was really nervous and funny enough he's talking about <coughs> language and it was a language that i felt very um stressed over because obviously English is my second language and it was my first movie ever in, in a different language. So, and, and I was really nervous and I, I was stepping into a set with really incredible actors and I really wanted to be up to the level they were. So I really, 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 really overly prepared. That's like so even for hard. my audition. That's so hard. I can't even imagine doing a, a, a film in another language. It's hard. I mean, this was really hard too. I would say this for the language because it's all the medical jargon and it has to seem be uh, completely seamless. So obviously um, that became really challenging when we were in a riding ambulance 100 miles per hour. You, you're so stressed over it that you can't even think about language truly. Well, I have two answers to that. I would say the longest, liter quite literally, was maybe when I was preparing and trying to learn how to box for Southpaw. Mm. But then the, the, the more philosophical answer to that, which uh, I know you'll be interested in, Steve, is I think you're always preparing for the next role, and every single one is about preparation into the next. You know, you carry with you all the stuff that you have in your life, totally. and you bring it into the work that you do, and you learn, and you evolve, and each each thing you drag all the other stuff with you. Uh, for all again, for all three of you, uh, what is the hardest take you have ever done in any of your movies? The one that, like, either for camera reasons or performance or a mixture of camera and performance. Is there one that you will always remember as like, oh my God, that was another level? Yeah. Well, I can give you, I can give you uh, the, the literal answer, which is probably has something to do with, uh, with uh, Aquaman. And uh, it's, it's, it's the first Aquaman, and I'm, I'm shooting in this tank that sort of, uh, it's, it submerges. And so we have to beat the, mm. I have to, to finish the moment with my dad and then get to the other side of the tank before I'm completely submerged. So by the time that I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm at the end of the take, it's like the water is, you know, this is like up to my mouth, and yeah. and that's a that that was a technically, you know, difficult to execute. Um, but I think we're always in the middle of of the most difficult <laughs> takes in our lives. You yeah. know, you're always preparing for the next take uh, because life will throw objectives at you and you have to be ready to uh you know to take them on yeah 
Yeah. I think for me, uh, acting wise, uh, <laughs> it was a very hard scene that I had to shoot. I don't want to spoil it, and I care a lot. Something happens to her, and I have to really cry, and it's a very emotional scene. And it really opened like a can of worms for me, so it was really, really hard to disconnect from the scene afterwards. Um, and then physically, I would say, funny enough, it's underwater too. I did this movie where I had a, by, when I started the film, I had an accident. I broke my collarbone and three ribs. So at the time that we were ending the movie, I had to do this stunt underwater in a tank. And I was doing jujitsu underwater, completely with weighted. A broke, with broken ribs. It was on my I third thought. month. I had recovered, so we left it till the last day of shooting. But I really wanted to do it. I really pushed my team because they wanted to do it with someone else. And it was it was very challenging physically, and it was scary. But I felt very satisfied when I saw the final cut. Yeah, it was worth it. Nothing really. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. It's hard for Jake, truly. Not really. Uh, uh, I mean, look, uh, it's it's acting, so I don't know if you call that hard, but I um, I do remember a, like a one scene in this movie, Stronger, that I did. That was not just not not because it was um, difficult for me, but difficult to think about someone having gone through that for real. I think that's that sometimes yeah. like being in that space is like. Uh, and then trying to do that service is a, is is a, is, a, is a strange thing in in, in acting and performance because you're pretending, right? Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. but getting into that space, trying to understand what was real, something that actually happened, it's, it's that's hard.